Hi, I'm Sarah, and welcome to Basic Yoga for Dummies. Okay, I know you're not a dummy. In fact, you're pretty smart. You've heard about how yoga can improve your life, and you're interested in a no-nonsense, easy-to-follow routine that works. I created this yoga workout, called a practice, based on 12 exercises, called postures. I call them the Daily Dozen. You can do them all together, or one at a time. But whatever you choose, you'll feel amazing results. When appropriate, I will show you modifications so you can get the most out of every posture, no matter what your fitness level. Remember, yoga is not competitive, so just relax and do the best you can. With regular practice, yoga gets easier. To assist you with your practice, you'll see these helpful icons. The tip icon highlights helpful information to make yoga accessible and easy to put into practice. The jargon alert icon flags yoga words and concepts that are explained in plain English. The remember icon reinforces what you need to know for an effective, stress-free practice. The beware icon will red flag common mistakes and don'ts for your practice. And the Mythbuster icon cuts through the incense and shows you how yoga can make a difference for you. Here are some things you want to know before beginning. Wear comfortable clothes that are easy to move in. Try not to eat before you practice. And when you're done, drink plenty of water. Always practice on a non-slip surface and in your bare feet. Have a chair nearby, a firm pillow or towel, and a strap which can be a men's tie or bathrobe belt. This is your private time, so create an environment that allows you to focus and really enjoy your practice. Yoga helps millions of people lead healthier, fitter, and less stressful lives. Sound good? Let's give it a try. Before we do anything, Let's get you sitting down. We're going to be here for a couple of moments, so I want you to be comfortable. There are a couple of options for sitting. The first one is to just sit on the floor, on the sit bones, with your legs crossed comfortably. The sit bones are the bones at the base of your butt and are properly named because you should be sitting right up on them. Your knees should open up enough so that they fall just below the hips. If they don't, another option is to sit with a cushion or towel underneath your sit bones. A cushion on the floor is a nice way to go because it will make sitting upright easier. The last option is to sit in a chair. If you know that you are not comfortable on the floor, by all means sit in a chair with your legs straight and your feet firmly planted on the floor. Now let's take a couple of moments to talk about breathing. In yoga, the breath always goes both in and out through the nose creating a hollow sound in the back of the throat. It's not a sniffing sound. It should sound like the ocean. Let's try six breaths together. During our workout, we'll be holding each yoga pose or posture for six breaths. Try to match the length of the inhales to the length of the exhales. Our bodies live on oxygen, so make every breath count. It should feel nice to pay this much attention to the breath. This will bring awareness to the body as well. One of the cool things about yoga is that a lot of the postures are named after animals or different objects in nature. The first pose in our daily dozen is called the cat. I like cat pose because it's gentle and helps to warm up the spine. So, to get started on cat pose, let's take our hips to the side and come on to hands and knees. Let's get the base set up. Hands are directly under the shoulders with the middle fingers pointing forward and have the fingers spread. 
Make sure that the knees are under your hips and point the feet straight back. Next, we're going to come to what's called a neutral spine, which just means a straight line from the tip of your tailbone to the top of your head. Cat pose is what we call a dynamic pose, meaning that we use the breath and movement together. It's nice, it will really loosen you up. It's going to look like this. On the inhale, the chest will lift up, the shoulders roll back away from the ears, and you gently look up. When you exhale, you do the opposite, like a cat. Round the back and try to touch the nose to the belly button. Really push the floor away with the hands and knees, lifting the belly up. The arms will stay straight at all times. In all of the poses, we'll be breathing fully. Whenever we expand the chest cavity, think of the lungs expanding. This will always happen as you inhale. When you exhale, the body naturally relaxes and softens. Okay. We're ready to take our six breaths. Inhale the chest forward, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale the belly into the spine. Inhale gently, looking up. Exhale, softly gaze to the belly button. Yoga is a religion. False. It's a practical mind-body discipline that's enriching on many levels. The Sanskrit word vinyasa means breath placement. When we do breath and movement together, we'll be calling it vinyasa. Last big breath in to expand the lungs. And last exhale, really pushing the floor away from you. Now, sit back on your heels or just to the side. Sit tall and be in a comfortable position. The next pose we're going to do is called the mountain pose. It looks simple, but it is important to learn because it is the basis for all standing poses in yoga. So, shift your weight to one side, and if you need to, you can use a chair to help you stand up. Stand with your feet, hips width apart, toes pointing straight ahead, parallel feet. Spread the toes and get grounded. Then, draw the thighs up and back with super strong legs so that the weight is centered in your feet. This is what makes you stable. Your low belly lifts in and up, and your tailbone drops down towards the floor so that you do not have a sway back like this. Your chest lifts, your shoulders stay engaged behind you, and the arms are relaxed by your sides. Lift up through the very top of your head and keep a relaxed face and jaw. Now that we're stable, we're going to add the breath. When the arms reach up, we breathe in. Keep the belly gently lifting in and the tailbone down, taking care not to dump into the lower back. When we breathe out, we'll take the arms down and get taller. Ready for our six breaths? Inhale, the arms go up. Exhale, release them slowly down. Inhale, reach through your fingertips. Exhale, grounding through the legs and feet. There's a tendency to shift your weight forward and back. Try to resist and stay strong and solid. Standing postures help to strengthen your legs, open your hips, and develop balance. Really stretch up on the inhale, and then gently lower your arms down on the exhale. The main thing to remember is to be grounded like a mountain. Let's try it out in a side lean. 